Welcome to episode 20 in the KMS Show. I'm Madeline Chamberlain and today is April 10th, only, only eight more weeks to go. And I'm Aaliyah Clark. We just came back from a three-day weekend. Hope you had fun. We're going to have a lot of fun and information in this video, so stay with us. Let's get started with some sports news because last week was a great week for our spring sports athletes. For instance, our baseball and softball team had a great start to the season. Both teams defeated Twin Lakes twice and this week they will both face Arling Mayport and Arlington. Those will be our first home games, so be ready to come and support our team. I'm sure they'll keep up their winning streaks. We'll be back with more sports news, but there's something else going on this week at Kernan. Yes, we're going to have a multicultural day on Wednesday. If you're wondering how you can participate in this activity, it's as easy as this. Come and show that you're proud of your heritage by dressing like your country's traditions. We, we know we have so many nationalities and cultures in our school, and if you want to be part of it, so be ready on Wednesday. Show your culture and traditions. I can't wait to see what kind of Ecuadorian tradition well, clothes Mr. Rale is going to wear. All of the students, too. Don't forget our Multicultural Day is on Wednesday. Another part, and part of culture, though, is the food. Right. Just about every country in the world has a unique and food that's associated with them. Our reporter Ariella is asking some students about food from their culture. So let's get started with the multicultural video. Hey KMS, I'm Ariella and today I went around Kernan asking students what their favorite food from a different culture is. Favorite food from a different country? Um, chicken curry. And why? Because it's really good and I like spicy food. And what country is it from? India. Pupusas. And why? Because they're like really good. And when's the last time you had pupusas? Like six months ago. Oh, what culture are they from? I think Honduras. Mason. And what's your favorite food from a different culture? Stuffed peppers. And why? It's really good. And when's the last time you had stuffed peppers? This weekend. And what culture is it from? Bosnian. Schnitzel. And when's the last time you had it? Like last week. From Germany. Brayden. And what's your favorite food from a different culture? Tacos. And why? Yummy. And when's the last time you had tacos? A week or two ago, maybe? Is it from? Mexican. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those are some interesting answers. So back to you guys. We have more about culture in the show, but let's go back to sports for a little bit. The track team also had a great first meet last week. They went up against Mandarin and Darling Middle at Mandarin. This week they will go against Southside Middle. Talking about swimming, our Ospreys will have the first meet of the year this week. They will go against Caroline, Fort Caroline, and DuPont Middle on Tuesday. Good luck to all of our Osprey athletes playing this week. Since we're talking about so much about culture, heritage, and tradition, why don't we talk about some people who probably know most about it? A lot of us probably don't know which countries our families are from, even if we weren't born there or never been. But what about the people at the school who are actually from other countries? Kalea is introducing them to us today. Do you have any family from Venezuela? Yeah. Do you, what do you miss most about that country? The food. Thank you. Mexico? Do you have any family from Mexico? Yeah. What do you miss most about Mexico? The schools. Haiti. What do you miss most about that country? My friends. Do you have any family from that country? Yes. Mexico. What do you miss most about that country? Mm, the views of the beaches and stuff. Do you have any family from there? Yeah. Hi, I'm here with Jocelyn. What country are you from? Puerto Rico. Do you have any family there? Yes. What do you miss most about Puerto Rico? The food, the beach, my family, and the mall. If you're born in a different country, you may speak another language. There are countless different languages in the world. You, you can know or learn any of them. So our reporter Sarah is asking students about s some other languages they may speak. Hi KMS, I'm Sarah and today we're going to be interviewing students about the different languages they speak. Hi, I'm here with Luna. And what languages do you speak? I speak English, Spanish, and a little bit of French. And which language do you speak the most? Uh, English. Thank you. Elizabeth. And what languages do you speak? I speak English, Spanish, and a bit of Korean. And what language do you prefer? Spanish. Guadalupe. And what languages do you speak? Spanish and English. And how does speaking more than one language help you? Um, I can like help other people that just don't only know one language. Thank you. Liza. And what languages do you speak? English and Spanish. And which language do you feel more comfortable speaking and why? 
uh, Spanish because I spoke it for longer. Juana, and how many languages do you speak? I speak three. And what are those languages? I speak uh, English, Spanish, and this native language. Thank you for watching. What languages do you speak? Bye, KMS. Hi, KMS. Hi, money. We still have something else about sports. Don't think we forgot about our golf team. Of course not. The Korean golf team won their second match of the season against James Weldon Johnson to the lowest score of 123 to 132. Jonas, Jonas Leon led the team for the second time with a 26. Macy Spice finished her first match ever with the second to lowest score of 30. And Dion Jones played as a strong 33. Abby Williams scored the personal best of 34. Christian Nelson and Dylan Baugh Dylan ba also played well to help the team with the victory. Our next match is next Wednesday against Landon Middle School at the Blue Sky Golf Course. Of, since the sports season is just started, school sports is a pretty hot topic. We have a pretty great selection of sports, but are we missing any? Our reporter Addison is asking the students what sports they would like to add to our school. Hello KMS, I'm Addison. Today I may be interviewing students about what sport they want to add to Kernan. Hi, I'm here with Vaughn. And if you could add any sport to Kernan, what would it be? Hide and seek. Okay. And if you could add any sport to Kernan, what would it be? Parkour. Okay. And if you could add any sport to Kernan, what would it be? Mm, probably, I would definitely say the famous sport. Oh wait, no, actually, uh, rugby. And if you could add a sport to Kernan, what would it be? Hammer throwing. Okay. And if you could add a sport to Kernan, what would it be? Them Rubik's Cube matches. Okay. Thank you for watching. And what sport would you want to add to Kernan? Can we learn things from sports? Of course. Why else would they have them at our school? <laughs> I guess you're right. But what can we learn from sports? That's a question. Our reporter Michaela is seeing students to answer the same question. Hi KMS, today I'm going to be interviewing students on outdoor sports. And what outdoor sport do you play? Football. And what have you learned from playing football? The different type of plays that they got in the sport. And what sports do you play? Volleyball. And what did you learn from playing volleyball? I've learned that playing a sport isn't just about physical toughness, but it's also about mental toughness. And what sports do you play? Um, I do martial arts. And what did you learn from martial arts? Um, I learned how to discipline myself and, and fight at the same time. And what sport do you play? I play baseball, basketball, football, and I run track. And what have you learned from playing those sports? That I've learned how to get faster. And what sports do you play? Softball, track, basketball and tucker and what have you learned from playing those sports that it's better to play instead of trying to win and what sport do you play i play softball and what have you learned from playing softball that you can like make mistakes but you can like get better with the mistakes so. and what sports do you play um i play volleyball and tennis and what have you learned from playing volleyball and tennis um i've learned to move faster and to be better with my footwork and what sports do you play soccer flag You have to communicate with others, and that's it. And what have you learned from playing soccer? Um, I've learned that you can't just stay and wait for the ball to come to you. You have to go to the ball. Hi, KMS. What sport do you play? But that's it for now. Bye. What did you learn from playing volleyball? I've learned that playing a sport doesn't always like mean like. Sorry, I forgot. How do I pronounce? Let's talk about something else Something else we can learn from. Like the rest of the school. Uh-huh, that's the point of the year. We all have pretty much have a favorite subject. What's your favorite subject? That's what Olivia is asking. Hello, I'm Olivia Clark, and today I'm going to be asking students what their favorite subject is. Science, because it's easy and my friends are in it. Okay. To be honest, I would say science, because like you could just have fun, do experiments. You would just have like... Lots of fun in there. Math because numbers and it's easy. Math. Why? Because it's more entertaining than the actual like curriculum. Um, civics because I love Ms. Hargrove. Um, tech. Why? Because it's really fun and we get to joke around a lot.
My favorite is civics because we have a really good teacher and, it's, and she makes it really interesting to learn about civics. Okay. Reading, because reading is the only subject that you can truly go anywhere in the world without actually leaving your own home. Gym. Why? Because like, I play baseball and it's fun to go outside. Math. Why? Because I like it. And why? My favorite subject is science because we get to do like experiments and all that, all that other fun stuff like group activities and so and so. Gym. Why? Because I like playing sports and having fun. So math would be my favorite subject. Why? So math is in everything. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Whether it's reading, whether it's grocery store shopping, whether it's adding up the digits in your bank account, math is in every, everywhere. So you can't survive without math. I'm Olivia Clark, and this is what people said about their favorite subjects. Thanks for watching. Let's end with a question that might and probably has ended friendships. Oh, what? Who's the most powerful superhero? Um, okay. This is quite the question and some people feel surprisingly strong about it. Well, EJ is asking students about their opinions, so prepare to be offended. I'm Eve Brown, and today we ask people who they think the most powerful superhero was. Uh, who do you think the most powerful superhero is? Black Adam. Oh, uh, why? Because he has super strength, he can fly, and he saved like a lot of people, but it's kind of like Superman. Hulk. Uh, why? Because like he, he's just the best like at everything. Uh, who do you think is the strongest superhero? Superman. Uh, why? Because he can lift up anything. Uh, Spider-Man. Uh, why? Because he can shoot webs and he can climb buildings and he can lift everything. Uh, who do you think the most powerful superhero is? Thing. Uh, why? Just because. Is it because he's buff? Yeah. Uh, Superman. Uh, why? He only has like one week in the, and it's like a rare mineral. Oh, uh, who do you think the most powerful superhero is? Black Panther. Uh, why? You got armor. Hi, I'm E. Brown, and today we're going to be asking people who they think the most powerful superhero is. And that wraps up the show. If there's any topic you want to see featured on the show, make sure to email Mr. Ouellette or talk to someone, anyone on the TV production team. If you have a YouTube channel, please like and subscribe. You can also find our Instagram and TikTok at Mr. Ouellette's Class KMS. Have a great week, KMS. Remember to be kind to every person in every classroom every day. And we'll see you on the next episode of the KMS Show Season 5. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Today is April 10th, almost eight months, only <laughs> April gets to go. I said almost eight months, sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot of information and fun in this video episode, so stay with us. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't my fault this time, I swear. Another important food culture about culture. Blah, blah, blah. What? I messed up and we were doing so good and I was just you like. So bad. Another part about food is our culture. <laughs> I'm Madeline Chamberlain and today is April 10th. Oh, oh my. I mean, couldn't oh even get to the middle. Oh my god. But those of those people are <laughs> But those what of people <laughs> Of course not. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I don't know like how I'm supposed to laugh. Like. <laughs> I'd be like, uh -huh. no, I didn't. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. We can learn things from sports. Three, two, I thought it was, I was thinking about how it was like P2 and it was like P2. And that wraps up, and that wraps up the show. If there's, if there's any topic that you want to see. They'll be ready on Wednesday to show us your culture trans and transitions. Oh my god. <laughs> traditions. <laughs> I said traditions.